Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video, I'm giving my Nintendo Switch Lite a cute Karomi themed makeover. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so I've already gone ahead and put together some items that I think would look really good for a Karomi makeover. So let's start by taking a look at what my Switch Lite looks like right now. This is how it looks, really basic. I um, did a my Melody makeover the other day, but all of the items I already took off and gave to my twin because she's the big My Melody fan, so I wanted her to have all of those items. Um, I just kept my Switch, and now I'm going to give myself a Chromey makeover. So right now I'm just using this case by Geekshare. It's a really like pretty soft touch case. I love this one. I definitely recommend it. I like how it protects the buttons, like up here, and it's really easy to use the um, power button on this one. So I love this one. Um, so I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so now what I want to do is pick a protective case because I always want something to protect my skin and protect my device in case I drop it. So I'm going to show you a few options. I have this case that I got recently that I haven't had a chance to use yet. It's from a brand called Switcheries and I believe the website is switcheries.com. I'm going to put that in the um, description box below and they have a ton of different Switch and Switch Lite case designs that I've never seen before. And this Kuromi one really caught my eye. I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed this one. So this is an option. It's a really just soft touch, easy to put on um, protective case. Just snaps on like that. So it just has like a black rim like this. It's black and pink, really cute in the front because of my pink sticky bunny skin. And I'll link the skin if you're wondering, if you haven't seen my videos before and you're wondering why, why my Switch is this pink color, it's a skin that I have on there and I'll link the skin in the description box. It's um, Sticky Bunny Co. Pastel Pink. And so in the back, this is how it looks. You can see the pink skin show through, which I think is cute. And here's Karomi, Baku. I don't know, I think this is really adorable. So this is an easy way to um, protect your Switch and have a like cute Karomi theme at the same time just buy one of these easy snap-on cases. Now I'm going to show you a little different of an option. So this option is for more if you wanted to DIY kind of like your own design and you had something in mind and you can't like really find a design online that meets it. Um, you can do this. So this is just a silicone glitter case. I'm going to take it all out of the packaging. So this case is just like that case, it's um, like a TPU soft rubber and it's just for the back part with a rubber lip in the front. But this one is glittery and clear and I'll link this one in the description for you below. So with this one, like obviously it'll just give a glitter effect to your device, but this way you can um, kind of customize it to any theme you want. So the way that you would do that is by getting like stickers or postcards or um, even printing out images and cutting them out and what you can do is you can peel the sticker and place it directly on the case like this but then you risk that it might peel or um, scratch or mess up later so then you could also stick your sticker onto your device like this but I've noticed that um, some stickers especially papery stickers like this one when you go to peel them off of the switch skin they end up damaging the switch skin so I don't like to do that so much anymore I prefer to just like get a sticker with a backing on it and lay it over the device like this. So if I was using this one, I would put it here and then carefully place the case onto the device so that you don't move the sticker. And then you'd be able to see the sticker through. So I wanna show you how you can just get a cutout sticker like this, print an image and cut it out, or you can get stickers with like a clear background. So for instance, this one wouldn't work because the background of the stickers are white, so you would have to actually peel the stickers off. But there are stickers like this sheet or this sheet. These are little tinier stickers. Like this sheet where, let me open it for you. So as you can see, this sheet is actually on a clear piece of like plastic. And with these, you can always grab a pair of scissors like this and then cut out the stickers that you want. So say, I'm just going to cut out the top row to show you what I mean. 
And I'm gonna cut like all around the sticker. So once you've cut out all the stickers that you want, you place them where you want like this, kind of make up a design. And if you had, you know what, I don't have them with me, I have a lot at the shop, but at like Michael's, Joann's, and even the Dollar Tree, they have sticker packs that are just letters. You could like write out your name here, or put Karomi, or like a cute saying or something. And so you'd lay them all out like that, like a design. And then you get your clear case, you can get clear or clear glitter. I'll link both for you guys and try to place it carefully. All right, so there you go. And then that's how it looks. Super duper cute. We have this sticker here. So yeah, you see kind of like the clear from the um, sticker sheet still in the back a little bit. That's why I suggest taking the time to like cut around each character. But it doesn't look bad, it looks really good, and it's easy to switch your design out. So if you wanted to customize it like that, that's another option. Alright, so the next option to consider if you like prefer a more fancy or over-the-top look is a rhinestone case. And I have this one right here that I made for myself um, for this theme. I wanted like a black, pink, and white kind of rhinestone-y theme. So this is what I made. It's got all the little crystals and hearts. I picked the same sticker sheet, this one here that I showed you earlier, and I used stickers from this sheet to make these shiny heart pieces. And then I used this little tiny Kuromi head, and this is how it looks in the back, and it's hard plastic. And then the front is also hard plastic, so this is a little more protective than the other two options that I showed. And you just want to snap um, every piece in like that till you hear it click. Alright, so once you hear them clip in, it's pretty locked in on all the sides. And this actually still fits with the, even if you have a switch skin, this case will still fit. So this is how it looks in the back. And then this is how it looks in the front and the sides. I put another little Kuromi right there because I thought that was cute. And in the front, I try not to put too much like by where the buttons are so that you can, if you see it's kind of flush, you can easily press your buttons. So, This is a more protective and more like extra kind of um, look if you wanted to do something a little more flashy. Alright, so usually once I pick a protective case, I'll do um, grips on the thumbsticks here. So I have this um, cinnamon roll little container that I've been storing my grips in. I just got this recently. It's actually like a little food container, but it stores your grips, or it stores my grips really nicely and it's really easy for me to see which grips are in here. So for grips, I'm thinking we can always do paws. I love paws. Maybe these um, black and pink paws. Or ob the obvious choice would be the Karomis, right? Maybe we do a Karomi and a paw, or should we do two Karomis? Let's take a quick look at that. So the Karomi would be on this side. Since there's already a tiny Karomi there, maybe we should do a paw? Or should we just go all out and do Karomis everywhere? No, I think since there's already a tiny Kuromi, we're going to use the paw. Alright, so I'm going to put these on like you guys have always taught me. Just push it inside out like this. Oh, this one doesn't really want to stay inside out. So I'm just going to kind of like hold it inside out like this. Here, I'll show you guys what I do when it doesn't want to stay. Just hold it like that. Put it on the joystick and try to let go. Okay. Oh, it didn't really work. Let's try again. And I know that looks ugly. I got a little burn on there the other day. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt, luckily. I'm going to try with two hands. So what I'm going to do is I kind of push it and keep it open like that and place it over the thumbstick and then let go and see how that works. 
Okay, that worked a lot better. I think you could kind of hear it snap on. And that looks so cute. I'm so happy that we picked the, the paw because it goes so good with this. Now let's do the other side. I think same thing, we're gonna have to hold this one open a little and then snap it on. Oh my gosh, so cute! I am like so obsessed with this choice. So cute, definitely gives it another like extra level of nice. Love it, definitely have a super <laughs> chromey thing going on now. So next thing we wanna do is, usually I would pick charms, but before that I wanted to show you something. So I have these little button covers and these are supposed to be for joy cons like one set for each joy con But I lost one little pink one. I don't know how but then I realized I could use them for um, The switch light because it only has four buttons So these are little um, oh my gosh, no way did I just f So I like tapped on one to pick it up and it pulled up and it was the missing one somehow it was layered on that <laughs> that is so funny okay but anyway we could still use them here if we wanted so they're like little plastic covers that are made to cover your buttons if you don't like the color of your button and I'm just gonna see really quick what it looks like and of course to use these you would have to have your buttons memorized a b x y because they don't have it written on there and I'm just pu putting them on just to try them on but you can't really use them like that, they'll fall off like this. What you want to do is apply them with double stick tape. And they do come with a sheet like this of double stick tape to stick them onto the buttons. But that's how it would look instead of having the gray buttons that are usually on a switch light. This is how your buttons would look. But honestly, I think I'm, I'm not going to use them because now that I realized that I have all eight, <laughs> I think I'm going to save them and use them for a pair of Joy-Cons. But yeah, I just thought I would show you guys that um, as an option. Alright, so what I would like to do now is pick some charms to put on the device. I have some laid out here that I think go with the theme well, like the black and pink theme. But I also have some other ones over here that I'll show you in a bit. But before that, I wanted to show you how we would attach the charm in case you haven't seen any of my um, other videos. What I do is get a clear dust plug like this one and I attach an o-ring to it and then I can attach my charms to the dust plug. And the dust plug is essentially just made to protect the, um, uh, what do you call this, microphone jack? And you would just stick it in there and it would protect it from dust. But since I attached an o-ring to mine, I can just put a clip on there or put a strap on there and now I have a way of hanging charms on my device. And just really quickly for those of you that um, want to do this for yourselves or get your own dust plugs, this is what the dust plug looks like and I'll put a listing where you can get your own clear dust plug packs. They usually come in packs of 50 or 100. And then these are the o-rings i use and i'll show you really quickly how to attach it now you don't have to do this yourself if you are purchasing a charm from my website if you do that if you purchase anything from my website really just let me know in the notes section that you want a dust plug with an o-ring on it and i'll send you one myself just let me know what color o-ring you want if you want silver or gold or if you want both i'll send you a few so this is the o-ring well it's a split ring actually there's a split down the middle and you just hold on both sides. I hope that it will... Uh, it's kind of focusing. And you open the ring like this. And once it's open, you get the dust plug, put it through the hoop, and then close the ring again. Like that. And now you can attach charms to it. So you can do that yourselves or you can ask me for some dust plugs when you place an order. Alright, so I have these pink and white charms. So I have a lot of options. I'm going to show you guys what options I have and then we'll pick from there. So I made this bow charm. And you can find these on my website. They come in a bunch of colors. It's just a satin bow with a bell and some beads. 
and then I have this curl me simple face charm and I have this one on my website too I have a few different characters actually hold on this is just like a little bucket full of charms that I have So I've got Curl Me, Cinema Roll, Pump Pump Purin, and My Melody. And um, they come on little straps. And these are on my website. They come with the strap that's pictured, but if you wanted a different color, I have so many colored straps, just ask me. So for Curl Me, I chose black. So we have this one that would go with the theme well. Then we also have this charm from my website. It's like a Curl Me Face Shaker charm that I made and hand painted myself. It's really cute. I think I want to make one with a purple border too instead of just pink. We'll see. And a little pink star hanging from it. And then I also have this one here that I got on Amazon the other day. That's like a wristlet. It's so cute and it has like the chromey K and the skull and a little chromey figure. And I felt like that make matched the theme well. And then I also have, hold on a second, let me put my switch aside for a sec. Alright, so then I also have, I'm going to use this tray to hold them, some charms from my website. I picked these all off of my website, so I'm not going to use any of these to keep them today, but I just wanted to show you guys some options on my website for um, chromey theme charms. And of course on my website you can find charms with other themes, not just chromey, but I have these like sticker charms. The sticker is um, protected on the inside and they're glittery, so I could use one of these. I only have pink and purple right now. I wish I had made like a pink and white or pink and black to go with this theme more so I'm not going to use one of these but I wanted to show you that that's an option when you're doing your own makeover. And then I also have these shakers. This one is like a little bear head and it's got purple beads in it and it's a shaker. So little glitters shake all around and you can move them around to reveal a little Karomi face. And these have like a bigger clasp so you can use them as um, keychains as well. And then this one is like a little Tamagotchi and it's Kuromi but it's also a shaker. It has a little liquid and glitter inside. So I have a few options like that on my website. Check it out. Um, there might be some charms that match your makeover that you're doing. So let's go ahead and start attaching some of the charms that I picked out for this customization. I actually almost forgot that I have this really cute little plushie here that I want to use on this customization. So um, this feels kind of bulky, I want to use it on the dust plug, so I'm just going to take it out and put it on a strap instead. And I'm just going to use a pink strap from this one, I just took the strap off of one of my other charms. And you just put it on like that. Also if you wanted like a colored strap like this for whatever reason and you bought one of the charms on my website or a case or anything, let me know I have a big box full of like every color of these straps and I don't mind giving um, some away to you, just let me know what colors you want. So I'll put that one on a strap. So this one is already on the dust plug so I'm going to use that one and then the other ones that I want to use like this, I'm just going to go ahead and apply them all to the same o-ring. So like these strap kind, you just stick the strap through like that and then you st usually you'll stick the charm through there but this one's kind of big so I'm going to disconnect it first or unclip it and so you'd grab this with, with the- <laughs> Alright, All right, so you grab this with the little lobster clasp with the whatever charm is on it and you push it through here, hold on to this and you see that it starts making a knot and you just pull until it's like knotted on there. So just reclip this if you unclipped it. And it hangs on there like that. I like to be really extra, I like a lot to hang on my switch, so I'm gonna put a few more items. Since I chose the shaker face, I don't think I'm gonna use the little simple face. But I do want to put like a moon or a star wand on here. So I have this pink moon and I have this pink heart lollipop. These are available on my website in various different colors so check it out if you want one of these. I think I'm gonna go with the moon. I 
right, so now that I picked out all of my charms and I attached them all to my dust plug, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into my device. And this is how they all look together on the switch. I think they look so cute. It really ties it all in and gives that like extra look that I really like. And if you decide to flip them over, this is how they look on the front. Okay, so next thing I want to do is decorate my game card case. I have this cute little game card case that I usually carry with me to carry um, whatever games I'm playing right now. So right now I'm playing Diablo and Animal Crossing. So I'll usually keep one in the device and one in here. So I want this to match the theme. So I'm just going to simply decorate it with the same stickers that I used on the back of this um, case, which is this sheet here. So I could use these to like tie it in which what it's which is what i think i might do but if you want it there's a lot of other options there's also this sticker sheet if you wanted to like incorporate a little bit of my melody into it and i'll link you guys all of these stickers and then there's also these little like nail stickers that i found that are small and would look so cute on here these would also look cute now that i'm thinking about it um around the border of your screen since there's that extra space you could always put like a little tiny sticker in the front so i think what i'm gonna do is use maybe these pieces these stickers that i didn't use that we had already cut out from the sheet so i think i'm gonna put one on each side so i'm gonna get this sticker i'm using these tweezers to help me like place it where i want and i think i'm gonna put it like in the middle and this way I can put a game here and a game here and you can kind of still see what the game is but the case is decorated cute so I'm going to put one like that and then one like this she's so cute look like little sad Kuromi and then a little bratty Kuromi <laughs> So that's how that is. I'm going to pull out a game to show you. I think I have one in this little Kuromi drawer. Um, I have ReZero right here. So we'll put the game in like this and you just snap it in. And you can still see what game you have in there, ReZero. But now it's decorated really cute. And it fits four games. On this side you can fit two. And on this side you can fit two more so four games total and again i've told you guys before but i don't know if you want me to show you or not if you wanted um this to be more permanent you can just use uv resin over here put glitters or anything you wanted and then cure it in your um uv or led lamp and then it'll like be protected forever and you can even rhinestone the sides and stuff but i like it simple like this so I actually took out my Diablo game to show you how the two look in there. Like that, see? So you can tell you have Diablo and Ray Zero, but you have a cute little Chromie in there to make it adorable. Alright, so now I think we should pick a protective case. So I took out these two options. Unfortunately, I don't have a Chromie protective case i've never seen one i can't find one so um i took out a black option and a pink option to go with the like black and pink theme oh and i also wanted to mention that since i couldn't find a kuromi case i did find these really cute kuromi patches and i had more other cute designs but i showed them to my twin and of course she wanted one so i let her pick one or two i don't remember but anyway i have these and they're like iron-on but in the back they're also like sticky like there's this film and you peel it and they're sticky so you stick it on and then you iron it on for it to stay so this switch is a pink one oh it has this like um really kuma charm on it but you just take that off if we want to do a chromey thing so this one is kind of like canvasy and it's one of my favorite ones so i feel like if we put them on here like took off the back stuck them on and then um ironed them on they would look really cute on here right but 
I don't know if I want to commit because this is my favorite case and it's a little bit rare to get so that makes it kind of expensive now so I don't know if I want to iron them on um, but then I do have this other case that's um, a more accessible geek share case it's this really cute black paw case with a little black and it's got the kitty in the back and it's black on the inside I like I love this case this is one of my favorite cases but it's really accessible so I could get a second one if I used this one but I don't know if just peeling the back and sticking them on would work like if that would be good enough or if we would end up having to like they would peel off and since it's not like fabric or canvas I don't know if they would um, stay on if you ironed on so that's my dilemma there with that so I think for now I'm just gonna put them aside but if you committed you could get like a canvasy case and I'll look for some for you guys if you want and um, iron these cuties onto that but for now I'm just picking a simple black paw case and this one opens really easy and it's really cute and light so I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, I just closed it and it has all these pouches like extra little spots right here for games if you wanted to and it has this extra room here so you can put like your charger um, earphones if you had them um, extra grips whatever things you had I'm gonna put my little cartridge in there and you can even put like your little stickers and stuff in there And since it's like see-through or mesh, I mean, you can see what you have in there. And the device fits in like this, I'll show you, right in here. And it has this like soft spot here to protect your screen. You do have to pull your charms out before you put your device in. So you'd put your device like this, close this to protect your screen, and then pull the bungee like this. And if you're wondering, yes, it still fits with your rhinestone case on. And then the charms, since they're all on here, you can just attach them when you need them again. And you can put them in here for the meanwhile. But if you also wanted, you could attach them here. Look, I'll show you. So you can put it in here and close the case up. It does fit, I've tried many times. Or there's D-rings here at the top where you can put straps. And you can just get the one that has a lobster clasp like this, open the clasp, and attach it to the D-ring. Like that. So you see it's attached to that D-ring, and now your charms will hang like this off of the side of your case. And when you want to put them on your device, all you do is unclip it and then stick this back into your device. Another option that would make it really Karomi themed and cute is you could store these on the inside or on that side, doesn't matter. And then you get this lanyard that I showed you guys from Amazon and stick this on a D-ring like this. And then that would hang there really cute and make it Karomi themed and then you can hold your case from this lanyard. So it's really up to you which, which you prefer. So I honestly believe that I would go for this look with this really cute lanyard here on the side. Nothing on this one, and then open it up and have my charms in here in this pocket with my other items. They fit really nicely in there, they're protected, the device is protected, and then you have this cute way to hold your um, carrying case. So yeah, this is exactly how I would do it. So that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's makeover, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Kitty and Jerry.